you can leverage your taxonomy and unstructured document processing models to help ensure that approved terminology is used when extracting information. For example, in the SharePoint Admin Center, in the Term Store, we have a term set called Contract Services. The design term has several synonyms. These synonyms can be converted to the preferred term when using a document understanding model by using Managed Metadata Columns. In the Contract Services Library, there are documents containing contract services agreements. There's a column called Agreement Type, which is a managed metadata column mapped to the Contract Services term set, and a column called Agreement Type Text, which is a regular text column. These columns show the difference between managed metadata and text extraction. This model is connected to the Contract Services Library. In this example, Let's add identical entity extractors for each of the columns to illustrate the difference. We'll connect the first extractor to the Manage Metadata column, then label the type of service. Since we have a term set defining service types, we want the service types in these documents to map to the official terms. We'll add some explanations to ensure the service type in each document is being properly tagged. Now we'll create an extractor for the regular text column and do the same labeling and explanations so we're capturing exactly the same information. Now there are two identical entity extractors, one mapped to the Manage Metadata column and one mapped to the Text column. In the Contract Services Library, we'll select the documents and choose Classify and Extract. Once the documents have been processed, note that one of the files shows Storyboard in the Text column. This is the actual label found in the file. Recall that Storyboard is a synonym for Design in the Contract Services term set. When using a Managed Metadata column, the preferred term is shown when a synonym is found.